Executioner, Strategy, Training, Tactic Perks, All Effects Manual Fights. Executioner and Tactic is for Action Points Regeneration. Action Points are used when a player's use weapons. Simply known as AP. Training Perk lets you start with more AP. When you have more AP, you get more turns, and when you have more turns, you do more damage. Lucky Devil Perk, literally saves you from death. Armadillo Perk, affects all armor. Maxed at 5. It starts with an additional 5% of the armor, until 20%. Speed Walker, gives plus 1 tile movement range. Sharp Eye Perk, gives 5% hit chance, and 25%, when maxed at 5. Jack B Nimble Perk, gives 5% dodge chance, and 25%, when maxed at 5. Butcher Perk, adds the carcass output for 100%, when maxed at 3. All the saving on cost slows deterioration. This then lessen the times or currency you need for repairs. You either use a lower durability percent on auto battles, or your vehicle durability, can last on longer travels. Noticed, that I placed the perks on their own categories, rather than in a tier list. A useless perk for a player might be a lifesaver for one. This category is called, must have, cause they are perks you'd rather have. Most endgame players have them, and are just re-roll, if this players choose to use event items. For example is re-rolling Jack B Nimble, because you're an invisibility cloak user. The next category is called situational. These perks depends mostly on the player's current situation. This is where you see perks that are only useful, during early game, or mid game. Raw perk, lets you nullify food poisoning, when eating, per se, unclean food. However, it permanently decreases your health, by 50. Useful, in early game, risky to have further. Poisoner perk, only affects crossbows, chitin spear, one of the best auto weapons in endgame, puts this poison, debuff, without this perk. Chain smoker perk, is for players, who prefer, to use cigarettes for energy, rather than crafting energy potion. Thirsty for fuel perks, starts at 5%, 25% when maxed at 5, adds the fuel loot. Most raiders have this, raiders in my definition, are players who have a routine of raiding S camps, and mother bees. Hunter perk, is only for non-rad or mutated animals. Useless, past mid-game, because most enemies are mutants and bandits. Lasting effect perks, starts at 10%, and 50% when maxed at 5, increases the duration of positive effects. This affects food buffs, and medicines effects. Need for speed perks, when maxed at 3, gives 30%, transport speed, good for players who always travel, or have a slow transport, but they stick to it, because of ample repairs, or maintenance. Marathon runner perks and mule, are mostly used in early game. You're a player, who don't have a car yet, or refuse to use one. The next category are perks, mostly by choice. Friendly fire perk, or for players who are not careful, in their explosive. However, this does not work on shotgun splash damage. Well fed, maxed at 2, adds 50, in the food stat. Energetic, maxed at 2, adds 50, in the energy stat. Strapping lad, maxed at 5, adds 100 in the HP stat. Camel, maxed at 2, adds 50, in the water stat. Finally, the herbalist, increase the herbs or plants, you find in the different biomes, such as mushrooms. However, this perk doesn't apply to strange mushrooms. Job perks and looters perks are pretty self-explanatory. Job perks are mostly sought after in multiplayer mode, while looters perk, well, is for looting. Farmer perk, increase the amount of crops harvested by 25%, then 100%, when maxed at 3. Angler, increase the amount of fish found by 50%, to 100%, then it's 150%, when maxed at 3. Magic Touch, increase crafting speed by 25%, then 150%, when maxed at 5. Lumberjack, increase the amount of wood found, by 50%, to 100%,
then 150%, when maxed at 3. Moonshiner, increase the amount of alcohol obtained from barrels by 10%, to 20%, then 30%, when maxed at 3. Now, for the looter's perks. Raging alcoholic, nullify alcohol's negative effects, but, you are addicted to it forever. Alcohol are only used to remove radiation. Night vision, adds minimum light of 50%, lets you search in the dark. Lead skin, add permanent radiation resistance of 1, then 5, when maxed at 5. Scavenger, when maxed at 2, increase the amount of components found, by 50%. Truck perk, affects all transport. It increases the transport carry capacity, that starts at 5%, then 15%, when maxed at 3. Strong immune system, if you're far away from nurse. It decreased duration of illness and injuries by 10%, then 30%, when maxed at 3. Veteran looter, increase the looting speed by 10%, then 30%, when maxed at 3. Saving on filter cost, decreases the gas mask durability loss, by 10%, then by 50%, when maxed at 5. We are nearing the end of this overview. My favorite part of the game, is the turn-based combat system. Presenting the combat and its passive perks. All the expert perks affects their respective weapons. All increases the base damage, that starts at 5%, then 25% max, when the perks are maxed at 5. You will notice that I put Monster Hunter and Head Hunter perk in this category. I already mentioned, that most endgame enemies are mutants and bandits. I also noticed that besides event levels, example is the demon level, this two perks affects the base damage of some event weapons. Some event weapons don't get affected by the expert perks. Example, the forest wrath had a 30% damage boost when battling mutants. It's not 25%, despite being affected, by the now deleted, gunner perk. Remember, most passive perks, are like a double-edged sword, you lose and gain something in return. Range perks. These perks all add a one-tile range in their respective weapons. Except for point blank, I consider it as an assault rifle passive. It adds an assault rifle damage of 25%, but decreases it with one tile. The passive perks for pistol, is Avenger and dual wielding. Avenger, the one per turn counterattack only activates when the enemy, lands a successful hit. Dual wielding increase the damage, but also repair cost. However, it maintains the pistol's one AP usage. The passive perks for rifle is nobody leaves in sniper. Nobody leaves is like avenger perk, but it activates when the enemy starts moving. Sniper perk adds one more AP, but deals more damage. Starting at 30%, to 40%, then 50% max, when it's maxed at 3. Machine gun only has one passive. Hail of lead, adds the ammo consumption by 100%. The perk increases the damage by 30%, to 40%, then 50% max, when maxed at 3. How about a little challenge, we'll only kill this mother bee, once she hits us. More like a test to jack be nimble and trickster perk combo.